In this video I will explain the upload of data through XML files. In order to make use of this functionality, we need to download the files available from the system FAQ page, or the support page in case you are already logged in, as in our example. Following this link, a zip file will be downloaded where you will find an Excel file with the coding to be used, the XSD files and sample XML files to take as examples. It is important to clarify that the system help desk will not provide support on the creation of these files. Companies willing to use XML files to interact with the system should have the proper technical resources to create and manage these files. However, in case you find errors or bugs, please report to the help desk that will follow up as deemed appropriate assuring a fix will be provided. Another important aspect to consider is that, to fully understand this video, the viewer should have a proper knowledge of the EUMRV regulatory framework and its legal requirements. Let's now see the purpose of each of these files. Consider you have a company with one ship. This ship will have one monitoring plan which specifies how data will be collected. We will have data related to voyages and data related to port calls. In the end of the reporting period, the voyage and port emission data shall be aggregated. Once the annual aggregated data is in the system, the emission report can be created based on these figures plus additional information to be provided. These are the five elements for which data can be uploaded in the system through an XML file. The monitoring plan can be uploaded in the system through the monitoring plan's XML file. To upload voyages in ports emissions, we can use the voyage emissions in port emissions XML files. Although the system may do the annual aggregation automatically, for companies doing the calculations outside the system, the emissions XML file can be used. Note that this file can also include the voyages in ports emissions. And finally, the additional information we need to the emission report may also be uploaded using the emission report's XML file. What we have seen applies to one ship only, but what if the company has more ships? Except for the voyage and port files which apply only for one ship, the monitoring plan, the emissions and the emission reports files can cover up to 25 ships. If the company has more than 25 ships, several files can be used. Let's now look in the system and check where we can upload each of these files. For voyages in ports and missions, which cover only one specific ship, we click Actions, Ship, Edit. On the monitoring on a per voyage basis we can upload the voyage emissions file. On the monitoring on port activity basis we can upload the port emissions file. Back to the My Fleet page. You will note the button Upload Data in bulk on the bottom right side of the page. Through this button we can upload those files which address more than one ship. By selecting the data type, you can indicate if you are uploading monitoring plans, emissions or emission report additional information. Let's exemplify by uploading emissions for a ship. We select emissions. We browse for the file. Now we click to validate the file and the system checks if the file is in conformity. Note that this is a technical validation to confirm data consistency. The system does not do any assessment or verification of the content. In this case, we note there is one warning. We click to open the log file and we note that the IMO number from the file is not in our MyFleet list. Let's open this file and make this amendment. Note that the IMO number field is empty. We enter the IMO number of our ship and click to save. We can see that the sample file includes one voyage, one port call and the annual emissions. This is the dummy data we have in the sample file, and you should of course delete it and build your files with the appropriate data. Coming back to the system, let's test again. The system informs that no warnings or errors were found, and we can click Submit File. The log file has no entries. If we consult the ship page we can confirm the voyage, the port call, 
and the annual aggregated emissions uploaded by the emission XML file. The notation manual in the data filling column indicates that the calculation was entered by the user and not done by the system.